Jessica Kuhn wipes away her tears. Sorry. She talks about her younger brother, Elijah Gonzalez. He was very vibrant and colorful and color outside of the lines. He was fiercely loyal and protective of the people he loved. Elijah passed away August 26, 2011 in a DUI crash where his best friend was the person behind the wheel. And the two of them went out that night with their friends um, with the intention of having fun um, and without ever thinking that um, the result would be my brother's death. The day she found out about the crash will never fade from her memory. The phone call from her mom changed everything. I didn't think that he was going to die or it was that significant. You know, moms are kind of melodramatic sometimes. Um, but when I got to the hospital and found him in the ICU um, unconscious, I pretty much knew in that moment that um, it was bad. Seven years later, her life is different in so many ways. My brother is the reason why I'm a police officer. This job makes me feel like I'm doing something about it. But that doesn't mean the pain isn't still there for both her and their mom. I found forgiveness, which I didn't expect. Um, and I think she copes by um, giving a lot of herself to her grandbabies. According to the Colorado Department of Transportation, 24 people in El Paso County have died this year in impaired related accidents. And with New Year's coming up, Kuhn has a message. Being young doesn't make you invincible, um, that your life is valuable. So don't get in a car with someone who's been drinking.